Holy smokes, this has been a good event. Um, all the speakers that came before me, y'all lit it up. I mean, how, how about how about Marcus? Oh, I told him I'm like, thank God they didn't put me after you, because I ain't as funny and I ain't as good looking and you know, all that other stuff. But um, I mean, Beth. Riddle killed it. I mean, uh, we've just had unbelievable speakers. Mark's done unbelievable. Andy's done unbelievable. So I'm honored. I know. I know I stole this from you, Riddle. I know that's exactly what you're saying right now. Uh, I was coming, coming in, and he was like, oh, I, Hannah's like, Riddle's got your slime. I'm like, I know. So um, my name is Mike. Uh, I met my wife, Arcadia, and we got a little one-year-old named Boston. Thank you. We, are, uh, we live just outside of Atlanta, and I saw the Alliance about a year and a half ago from my best friend, Nick the Quick, back there. And uh, I'll just tell you, when, when, when we saw this, we needed it. Like, we, anybody, when you saw this, like, you needed something... Yeah. So, and then some of the people, that, that when you first saw it, you didn't think this is what you needed, but later down the line, you realized, oh, that's what I needed, you know? Um, and uh, I, was, I was in a network marketing company for, for 10 years, and I started when I was 21, and I knew from early on, I grew up catting, I'm a huge golfer, and my entire life's goal was to make money from the golf course. So I would caddy for people in real estate, people that own insurance brokerages at my parents' country club. And while my dad was doing root, ca uh, root canals and crowns and things like that, I'd be caddying for people on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. And I'm like, how were you get They were making money from the golf course and they were in real estate insurance. And so that was something that got into my mind way back in the day. And um, I'm like, that's the lifestyle I want. I want to be able to work, play golf, travel, make as much money as I want, travel when I want, and not ever have somebody put their thumb on me. So when I got introduced to network marketing, I saw a way to, to build a massive team, get huge residual income, and uh, absolutely just live out that dream. And, and, and we were able to do a portion of that, but uh, by the time I got good, the company started going through challenges. So when I came into that deal, I was 22, I had no credibility with my contacts, I had no, no sales skills, no recruiting skills, none of that stuff. And uh, by the time I went through Mark Asetta's system and all the personal development, reading the books, going to the trainings, I'm not gonna go through all the, the details, but long story short, we stopped getting paid and it was basically, for those of you guys who are a guy, raise your hand if you're a guy and you've peed outside. <laughs> Anybody ever pee downwind? <laughs> Have you ever peed into the wind? It comes right back into your legs, right? So no, no, matter, no matter what we did, we'd get it going, they delay our commissions. We'd get it going, BS would happen. Okay, and so we were at a, and I was never open to anything else, like never open to anything else. And so by the time that I saw this, it was because Nick, who I trusted, and, and he was my upline in, in World Ventures, um, I knew that this was the deal. And I met Andy. He calls me up and he says, hey, there's this crazy redneck guy that's going to be in Greenville, South Carolina tomorrow. You need to drive out there and meet him. And I did. And, and I met Hutch. I met Andy. And I just I fell in love with everything about the alliance. So uh, today, my topic is going to be about building. How many of you guys want to build an agency? Okay. Oh, and I'm going to get gangst on you at the very end. So, um, and th this is, like Mark was saying, Mark's full of a bunch of the stuff that I was going to say in my talks. That there was, there's just been so much great content. But in our old business, so some of the stuff I'm going to teach you, I, I, I learned all of that back there. And then a lot of you guys who have built unbelievable businesses like Riddle and the Levitoviches and Brandon, you learned a lot of that stuff from Andy. It's the same words, it just comes out a different way. You know what I mean? And so, um, when I first came in, I said, I needed to make money quick. Like, how many of you guys need to make money, like, right now? <laughs> quick, quick, quick. So, my goal was to sell 
three days a week. I needed to, all I wanted to do was replace my income with selling. But when Andy showed me the override structures, the compensation plan, how all that worked, I knew long term, like selling is short term pleasure. Building an organization is long term happiness. Like if you just look at all the top salespeople in the alliance and in insurance, some of the top salespeople earn between three hundred to five hundred thousand a year. Now there's some people that make a lot more, like a Megan Wood, and there's people that make less. But if you look at the top business builders, that's when you get to the eight hundred, nine hundred thousand, a million, two million, three million. And that's where not only do you get the money, but you get the lifestyle that comes with it. Because there's a lot of people that make a lot of good money out there, but they don't have the lifestyle, the lifestyle to go along with it. So jumping right into things, I'm gonna go over what I do from when I get somebody new started all the way building through the process. So, like I said, Andy, Andy did a great job of going through the ESB and the I. But long story short, if all you ever focus on in insurance is sales, you can live a great lifestyle and work three, four, five days a week, and you'll get really, really good at it. And, and you're going to move down from E to S, where you own a job. You want to get over to the B and the I. We, all, we can all agree on that, right? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to talk about building your list. How many of you guys do? Uh, how many of you guys are recruiting right now or building your team? Is anybody doing ads? Anybody doing more market? Anybody doing all of it? Anybody doing none of it? <laughs> I know he's doing all of it. Um, here, here's what I learned: nothing works all the time, but everything works a little bit. So. If some of the stuff that I might say, go back with your upline, and if they don't agree, totally cool. But hopefully I can give you a couple different things today that, that you'll be able to tweak and, and apply to your business. So we've done everything more market. We've done everything through friends, referrals, friends, referrals. And so I'm going to teach you guys how to build a list. And I'm going to teach you how many of you guys, when you joined the alliance, you explained it to some of your friends at the very beginning. And they didn't join you. Did they all join you? Okay. So before I get into making the list, I'm going to talk about what you can do to go back to those people because you can start your story over. How many of you guys realize when you first joined, your excitement was here, but your knowledge was here? So the way you did it, the confidence you had, you know, and now you've got more of a story, you can go back to people. And also, I talk about the seasons of life. For example, if, if Nick or somebody else would have tried to recruit me into the Alliance five years ago when I had momentum in my other business and the events we had were 20,000, 25,000, and just the vision looked unbelievable, I was not open. So a lot of you guys, you, you've shown people in the past and then you just give up on them just because they weren't ready. And if you think they're going to come back to you, you're wrong. People's egos are too big. They don't want to, they don't want to admit they were wrong. They're not going to hit you. They, when they see, you know, Adam or Andy or Brand. They see you killing it on Facebook. You think that they're going to reach out to you. They're not. You've got to reach out and start that conversation again. So building your list. Okay, don't prejudge people. The rule is some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. All right? So there's, uh, there's posers, professionals, and amateurs. Oh, whoops. And, and you can make a list of all different types of people. So has it, uh, Dan, come up here real quick, please. I'm going to give an actual example. And there's different types of, there's different ways to do it. But the, in this business, there's posers. Now, have you ever had anybody come into your business that was a poser? Okay, okay. Then there's amateurs, and then there's professionals. What I'd like to show you guys today is the professional way to build your list and how to get it rolling, okay? So Dan, let's say, let's say I get somebody brand new started. So this is from the fast track process all the way to how do I get into his market, his red hot market. So write this down. Cold market is slow, warm market is fast, red hot market is lightning. Because let's say, let's say I get Andy, I meet a waiter at lunch, 
today. And I edify and get her in front of Andy Albright. As, as much credibility and as great as he is, she can do whatever. She doesn't have trust with me. She might get in, but she's, I haven't built trust with her yet. She's not going to open her entire network to me. So I'm going to get, if I can put people in front of Andy and get one out of 10, that's cold market. You're, you can do cold market, but you're just, you're going to have to do a lot more of it. Cold market is one out of 10. Warm market, four out of 10. White hot is eight out of 10. White hot market, red hot market, you're going to get eight out of 10. Okay. So your hot market. So Dan, I just got Dan signed up. He just went through fast tracking. He's not licensed yet. Okay. So how many of you guys recruit licensed people? Anybody recruit unlicensed people? Okay, cool. You should do both. You should do both. You can do both. None of, none of us were licensed before we joined the Alliance. Okay. Now, I've had people come in that were licensed. They do really well. I've had people come in that were licensed that suck. I've had people come in that were unlicensed that do well and suck. Right? We all know that. So, Dan. So. He, he's my buddy. So this, the conversation I'm going to have with him is, you just got started. What do you really want to get out of this? I just need to replace my income. Replace your income? Yeah, I need to get out of this job. You need to get out of your job? Yep. Why? Because uh, I'm a massage therapist and there's too much back hair in the world. <laughs> you don't like too much hair? How serious about it are you? I'm dead serious. One more chia pet, I'm out. I can't do it. Good. So first thing is, you guys, you want to get the pain point at the very beginning. So it's painful. Okay. Do you want? So you want you want to replace your income? Yes. Are you dead serious about it? Hundred percent. Are you coaching? Yes. Okay, sweet. You want to make money fast or slow? Very fast. Are you serious about it? Yes. Okay. There's two ways to make money here. You can do it by selling and building a team. Let me explain what I did. Okay. While we, so I'm going to get his list, like I said, and I'm going to figure out who are the sharpest people that he knows. Write those down. And what, what, what ends up happening is all of your people prejudge their entire war market. And write this down. The people that you think will do it won't, and the ones who you think won't will surprise you. Have any of you guys had people that you knew, you're like, oh my God, they're going to be perfect, they're going to crush it. And they didn't even, they're like, you're dumb. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and then you, you've had people, I was hesitant to show Rachel Mittune Hernandez now. Because I was like, hell, oh, she wasn't that great in the last business. No, she was great in the last business. But um, I was hesitant to, I don't know for whatever reason, because I have dumb stuff going on in my head. We all have dumb stuff going on in our head. So my job is to get a big list of people. I say, if we have a small list of people, we're going to make small money. Big list of people, make big money. So I'm going to get them to write down who are, who are the who are the hungriest people you know. Um, Nick, let's go Rachel, uh, this guy Panda, uh, Greg, Bryce, uh, Sean, Esther. So I'm going, to name, I'm going to get names. Who do you know that's out? And here's what I'm going to do, just because for time's sake. I'm going to say, who do you know that's a police officer? Who do you know that's a firefighter? Who do you know that's a pastor? Who do you Because he's only going to give me names of the people that he thinks will do it. Does that make sense? But if I get him thinking names, hey, who do you know that's name starts with an A? Who do you know that used to be successful and they lost everything? Who do you know that's a single mom? Who do you know that does this? Who do you know? And he's going to, you'd be surprised. You'll, you could go all day doing that. It's a scientific fact by the time you're 21, you know 2,000 people. By their first, if you called them, you, they know you by your first and last name. But somehow people come up with a list of eleven because they're they're prejudging who think they think will do it. But if I say, hey, that's job and talent. So I I say, hey, I could get a list of five hundred names. If I, what's your favorite car? Favorite car? What's your favorite car? If you get a Lamborghini Veneno. Okay. If you come up with five hundred names in two hours and you just give them to me. I'll give you the keys to that car. Could you do it? Absolutely. So what happened? Was it that he didn't have the 500 names or is it because there was a big reason to get the 500 names? Well, I can't promise that if he does, if he comes up with the 500 names and he makes the money Riddle does and Andy, 
He's going to be able to buy that car. Okay? So get them to get a big list of names so that you can run through those. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach them how to do two-on-ones, set those up. Okay, so who do you know that's hungry for more, whatever the case is. So once I get their list, here, here, here's what you're doing. There's three ways, there's three things you do in the business. You, this is called the triple sort. You sort to see who's even going to get in. How many of you guys have signed people up and they joined the witness protection program? You can't even, they're gone. They are. So who's going to get in and then who's going to do something, like do something, and then who's going to leave? If I decided to become a pastor or move to Iraq or do something else or say, you know what, Dan, I'm not really feeling insurance anymore. I think I want to be a professional pickleball player or I just want to really explore my... You, you want people on your team that are like, okay, good luck with that. I'm still going. You want leaders on your team. A lot of you, you want to create independent people, okay? And you're going to do that through this system. So who's in, who's going to do it, and who's going to lead? Uh, Y'all, all four of you guys come back up here. This is a system called build through, build with, and build for. So when, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Once I get those names, I'm going to, I'm going to do the Zooms with them. If they're local, we're going to drive to see them. I want to get him, somebody on his team in 24 hours. It's called score in 24. Write this down. One is none and two is one. One is none and two is one. So, start here, you go down there, you go down there. Go here. So I get Dan in, and what the amateurs do is they look, first of all, Dan's my boy, and I want him to win. They look at Dan as, I'm going to help you. You're going to be the next regional manager. You're going to be the next partner. You're going to be the next... And they pour all their energy into Dan. Okay? You, I'm not concerned. He could be a doctor, a real estate agent. A, he could be anything. I'm not concerned about Dan. Only, the only thing that Dan can bring me is I'm trying to figure out who can he lead me to that's better than him. Write this down. Your personals, nine times out of ten, are not going, they're not going to do it. I don't know why that is. They're just not going to do it. Andy's told y'all this, Mark's, it just, this is the way it is. How many of you guys have had people that you put in personally that were no good, but they knew someone who knew someone who knew someone, and the, the killer came way down the, the line? So I'm going to get to Rachel. And then here's the, here's the prop. Any of you guys have kids? Any of you have young kids? I am not going to let my one-month-old raise my brand-new baby. What a lot of you guys do is because these two have the relationship, you you keep working here, and you try and like, all right, I'm gonna get duplication. I'm gonna t I'm gonna teach him to teach her, and you got dumb training dumb, <laughs> right? Because it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for me to meet her for coffee, for me to go build that relationship because I don't know her. So then I go meet with. So what I've already done is I've built through his list to get to her. The law of three deep. So what you want to do is you sponsor a new person. You go one down, one down, one down. Usually three to five levels deep is where the killers come in. Usually, and it could be di it could be different. All right, just like Rachel said, I, I brought in Rachel. She brought in someone who brought in someone who brought in the Minnesota man who's here this weekend crushing it, going to go home build a team. I brought in someone who brought in someone who brought in someone who brought in someone who brought in Pam. Nick brought in, how, how deep was I in, on your team of World Ventures? Seven levels deep, okay? So then I, 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 I go to Rachel and I say, hey, Rachel, do you want to make a little money or do you want to make a lot? A lot? Do you want to do it fast or slow? Fast? Who are the top people that you would want to go travel the world with, build an empire with, and if you were going to build a multi-million dollar company, who are your five key people that we need to go meet this week? Yeah, and, and you don't need to But I'm gonna I'm gonna get her people. Nick. Then I go to Nick. And I'm going all the way down the line. And then I'm meeting, I'm doing all the work. You are grossly like at the very beginning, you were grossly underpaid for all this work. Okay? 
But when you have someone seven to eight to nine levels deep that comes down, and they and they start producing 100,000 a month, 200,000 a month, 500,000, it, it'll all come back to you, so don't worry. That's right. You have to do all of this. Most people are lazy and they want him to teach her and her to teach. It does not work like that. Okay? Andy has come down and said, hey, he texts people on my... I'm like, how do you have time to text people on my... He's working in depth. That's what he means by that. So, and then Nick introduces it to Panda. So, I'm building through these people. One, 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 one to find a build with. Panda's the build with. And I told... What's up? So you're going to be in this. You can do this as because if you feel shortlisted, how many of you guys are like, I don't have a big warm market? Raise your hand. Every person that you know knows 100 people that you don't know. So if you feel shortlisted and you're like, I can't go recruit a bunch of people, I don't have a big warm market. And once I get into his market, he's got 100 new ones. I can still go back and work his other 99. I get her in. She's got 100 new ones. And that's all working through warm market. I get her in. There's another 100. I still have 397 people I haven't gotten to. Okay? So you don't need to know the whole world. You just need to get one and get good at getting through them. Now, I'm not saying get. you should do that as many times as you should try and do that weekly. You know what I mean? But you got to get one and get good at building through. So you build through, you build through, and then you find somebody to build with. Okay? And what does that mean? That's what, like, Andy's talking about traveling. Like, when I find someone to build with that I think is going to be a leader, I fly to wherever they're at. And I go do what's called windshield time. If I, and I, some of you guys will see me running appointments with them. I'm running appointments with them to kind of show them how the sales work, but I don't really care about that. I'm running the appointments with them to indoctrinate them with my philosophy and really build that relationship and get them to think how I think. So all of you guys who I've ran appointments with, it wasn't to teach you the sales. You're going to learn the sales over time. But I want to get to your network. I want to teach you how to do it. I want to build belief in you. And you want to pour into this one. And you don't ignore all these people. But like what I'll do is I'll get this guy rolling and then I'll send texts to them. And I'll say, hey, Panda, some of these guys might not even be licensed. I'll say, hey, dude, Panda's doing this. He just wrote 5,000. He just wrote 8,000. You're, you're losing money right now. And then that's going to fire them up. The deeper you can drive it, the better it is. And then once you find the build with, it'll take about six months to develop them. They'll get do, doing sales, recruiting, building, and you want to teach the same process to the team. And then what ends up happening is once you build with someone for six months, they build for you. And when they build for you, you can go to the beach. When you teach people how to teach, you can go to the beach. And you rinse and repeat this process. You get one in, you go down, you go down, you go down. Now, you might find somebody that's really good on the first level. Usually you don't, but you might. Everybody that comes into your team, I look at them with two different lenses. They're the next Brandon Manley. They're the next Bell Krause. They're the next Mike and Noel. I look at them in one, one lens. The next lens is they're going to quit in 48 hours. And I know more than likely they're going to quit in 48 hours. So if they're going to quit in 48 hours, how fast do you want to do that? I'll, I'll tell you guys this. And here's the other thing too. And that's why you want to get people in front of your upline. Because your sharks aren't going to follow the guppies. Sharks don't follow guppies. You want to get your people in front of the top people. And eventually, you will become a shark. You come to events like this, you're going to become a leader. You're going to, you're going to be able to do all this on your own. But if you, if you try and do this all on your own, when you find... I'll tell you something. We have Andy Riddles, and we have Nick Greco's and Dave's. We have people that are partners, future integrity partners that get in and out of the alliance every single week. They get in and they get out because no one grabs them. No one notices them. You don't introduce them to Mike and Noel. You have people that, because they're looking at you and they're like, I don't want to follow that guy. You get Marcus's on your team every single week. 
but because they're looking at you, they're like, mm, you're unsure of yourself. You're not very confident. No, thanks. And if I drew a stake right here in Dallas, Texas area, the, ability, the amount of people that could go out there and build a massive agency and go partner, there's thousands of them. And it's just like, whose team are they going to be on? Or are they even going to be in the insurance industry? Are they going to be selling lotions, potions, pills? Are they going to get into real estate? Are they going to get into solar? Right now is the unbelievable, it's the best time to do this business. You guys, real, you guys real, realize like inflation's at an all-time high. Cost of living's going up. People's making money isn't going up. There's no better part-time business than this. So one of the worst times to get into real estate if you wanted to sell homes you got, but people need that bridge and gap. They need to go out there and make that money. This is the best time to be recruiting people. Best time to be selling IULs too, because the market's down and all that stuff. You can look at this like, oh my God, <coughs> all of the killers out there in the United States, and there's tons of them. There's millions of millionaires out there. All right, you know, I, I forgot what the statistic is, but there's like ten thousand new people every single day around the world that become a millionaire doing something. So there's great people out there. And by doing this process, you're going to network to say, who do you know that's a realtor? Who do you know that hates their job? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Boom, you get them. Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? Boom. And you find that person. And when you find that person, you pour your life into them. You sit with them at the trainings. You sleep on their couch. You talk to all their, you, you, when they call you crying at night and bitching and moaning because they just went 0 for 6 in the field. You talk them off the cliff. You cast vision for the future. You guys, how many of you guys have had those phone calls from some of the best people on your team? And eventually those people, Nick, y'all weren't there, but Nick had to do that with me so many times. And we, we got our ticket punched in the last company. Like you're going to get your ticket punched in life. And it's just a slingshot. Like the resistance is the multiplier. And I learned this system on how to build through. You're building through to find people to build with. Build through, build through, build through. And if you get enough build force. Uh, oh, my bad. You, you can go to the beach. And here's the thing. Some people are only here for a season. I'm not using these people to build through their networks. I genuinely want them to win. I'll do everything in my power, but it's got to be a 100-100 effort. I can't be given more than what they're giving me. You know what I mean? Write this down. I'm looking for people that are looking for me. I'm looking for people that are looking for me. If, 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 they, if they give me, B, here's what you're looking for in a leader. How do I know what a leader is? Who do I build with? You're looking for people that have desire, that's number one. Coachable and teachable, right? We, we got a rule. It don't matter if it's your mama. It don't matter if it's Obama. If you ain't coachable, we can't work with you. Desire, coachable, and teachable. How many of you guys have people that, no, just everything you say, like, everything that you say, they're like, well, why? Well, this, why? this guy does it this way. This, I can't work with you. You know what I mean? Desire. Coachable and teachable. Here's the third one. Credibility with contacts. This is the tough one. Because some of you guys have people on your team that they come to all the events. They do all the right things. But because of their past life, they have terrible credibility with their contacts. So you're going to do a lot of presentations for them. And you're not going to get a lot of signups. If you can find somebody that's got desire and credibility with their contacts, you can smoke it. You can smoke it. Because when I get into a realtor or a business owner's context, I can, everybody already knows them and trusts them and likes them because they're successful in what that is. You go talk to the homeless guy across the street, he might be super excited, but you're building through that guy's contacts. You know what I mean? And you're going to do a lot of work and you're not going to get a lot of reward. And we don't work for free. Don't work for free. Stay in white hot, stay in red hot markets. Stay with people that have credibility with their contacts. Now, I'm not saying be mean to people if they don't have credibility. If they keep coming to events like this and growing and making money, the credibility with the contacts will change. That's what happened to myself. I didn't have credibility with my contacts when I was 21. So don't just ignore those people. 
If they keep coming around, eventually they're going to be killers. You know what I mean? They're going to turn into the people. Some people go super, super fast. Some people it takes five years. If you hit partner in two years, pretty awesome. But if it took you 10 years and you've got an unbelievable buyout, it's still going to feel pretty damn good. So don't compare yourself to other people. Some of y'all don't know where we came from, what we've been through, the amount of events we went through, the amount of times we had to explain to our team why the company wasn't sending commissions and all this other stuff. And we never gave up. We kept coming around. We kept coming around. We kept listening. We kept learning. And when we finally got an opportunity that was like this, it was like, this is easy. It's easy. Because we'd already done that. We were just doing it for no money. In my second month, I made more than I made over there in seven years. In my second month. So when I started to do part, I said, hell with that, I'm doing this. You know what I mean? But he grabbed me, he taught me, he trained me, built with me, built with me, built with me, answered all my stupid questions about, oh, do you write this, do you write this, all that stuff, and now I'm duplicating it throughout the team. Now we got people under myself that are doing that with their team, and that's how you do it. One by one by one. And the last thing you're, you're looking for is toughness. Yeah. You want people on your team. I, my favorite thing is when someone gets their nose bloody. When someone gets punched in the face, when they have a week where they just go 0 for 12 on appointments or 1 for 12, and then the one app they write, they're like, oh, and then it charges back the next week. <laughs> when people fall on their face, you see how they react. Some get back up, most don't. The ones who get back up, you work with them. Because they're hunting for more. I can't do anything if they don't have any toughness. So you're looking for desire, coachable and teachable, credibility with contacts. If they got the credibility with contacts, it's just going to go faster. Because you're going to get more people faster. You're going to be able to, you can expose less people. You know what I mean? Because like Marcus had, as Marcus had said, one out of ten is cold market. Six out of ten, seven out of ten, that's a, I mean, that's a Tom Hopkins thing, but six out of ten is warm market. So stay in that market if you can. Now, you're, there's going to be times in your business, I'm not saying don't recruit people cold market, but you recruit them cold market to get back to this. And then some people are only in your life for a season. You're going to have people that come in, bring a bunch of people in and they leave, it's just bad time, whatever the case is, but they bring you even better people. There's times when you're a hunter and a farmer. The farmer plants a seed and waits for it, and then you've got people like Andy who are hunters, they just shoot it and kill. You know what I mean? So um, you got to do both. you gotta, you got to be, it's called relaxed intensity. Be relaxed. Be impatiently patient. Be impatient with your activity on this, but be patient with the results. If you've never done this, it's going to take a little bit longer, just like the sales process. It takes a little bit. If you've never done anything, it takes a while. And you can't learn to do this, but well, you don't get good at shooting a basketball by watching Steph Curry on YouTube shoot baskets. you got to get up there and shoot some damn baskets. You know what I mean? you got to go do it. You learn to shoot by your misses. So you're going to screw this up a lot. You're going to screw this up a lot. Some people are only here for a season. When you find the people to build with, pour your heart and soul into people. The return on investment of leaders is its unbelievable. The leaders are rising. When they, once they build for you, they rise into that leadership level. That's when the beautiful concept of the residual income comes in. That's when you have a week where you make no sales yourself, but you make 19000 that week and team overrides. You know what I mean? And so here's the thing. One of my favorite sayings, when you teach others how to teach, you can go to the beach. Teaching is one level where you're going to get rich is when you can teach how to teach. Okay? And listen, don't compare yourself to us. We started way back in the day. We sucked back in the day. And now we're going to light this thing up. Alliance, I love you. Let's do this. Let's do this.